Hey there everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today we are doing a one mile upper body circuit walk. So let's be warming up while we talk about this. Just walk with me strong, posture tall, abs and tight. You're gonna need a set of hand weights for this. So I've got seven pounds right up to the side. I want you to grab whatever weights work best for your upper body. If you don't have weights at home, you could grab two 16 ounce water bottles or simply just use your body weight. We're all about you making this work for you, okay? So walk it tall, walk it strong, pump those arms. Let's get that blood flowing. Let's boost that mood. Get ready for a nice strong walk to come. So I don't really recommend walking with dumbbells like this because that can cause a lot of joint strain in your elbows, your shoulders, your wrists. So when we walk with the dumbbells, we're gonna be careful to keep them more at our core where our body can handle it. So keep them on the floor for now. We'll grab them together when it's time. Just give me a side to side step tap right here. Get wide, get low. Start to feel the legs firing up. So even though we're focused on the upper body, we're gonna work those legs too. So keeping the legs going, just start to give me a little curl here. Wake up those biceps. Nice again, keeping the posture strong, shoulders back, abs in. Nice, couple more right here. You got it. Last four. Three, we're gonna walk the feet wide like this. Start to wake up through the obliques a little more. Let's take a wide knee and elbow twist. Looks like this, pull and pull. I want you to really pull your elbows across to that knee as it lifts on a little diagonal. See if you can breathe into it with a nice strong exhale. And every time you're breathing out, think about that belly button pulling in closer to your spine. Yes, nice. If you can bring the arms up a little higher, let's get the shoulders working a little more. Nice, we wanna make sure everything is ready to go before we pick up those weights. Last four, three, let's take it back to our strong walk. Good. All right, inhale those arms up for me overhead. Really reach it tall. Now you're gonna make two strong fists. Bend those elbows by your sides, pull down your back. Inhale, up for two. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale, pull down. So we also want to think about warming up the lungs. We don't always talk about that. But we want to make sure we're breathing deeply so our body has the energy it's going to need for this mile. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Inhale and exhale. One last time. You're there. Up and down. Nice. Bring your elbows in, turn your palms up, a little rotation from the shoulder joints. So turn it out, turn it in. Keep your elbows hugging into your sides. Nice. Just a couple more. I know you're ready to pick up those weights. Don't you worry, we'll well. Hold it here, open your hands, turn your palms to the floor, turn them up. I want you to get inside the elbow. A little rotation of the forearms and the palms. Good. Final four, then we'll get those weights. Four, it's three, two, and one. I think you're ready to go. Okay, carefully, go get your weights. Use your legs to pick them up. So, we talked about this before. When we walk with weights, we don't swing the arms around. I want them for now, at your hips. Abs are in tight. Give me that side to side step tap again. Nice and wide, good. So we're gonna control the weights at all times with the muscle. So extend them down by your sides, pull your shoulders down and back. Turn your palms forward. Give me a two count curl. It's up, two, and down, two. It's a little brain teaser, I know. So your legs and feet are kinda doing two different things here. And down, good, elbows into your sides. Up for two, and down for two, that's it. Up for two, and down. So challenge your core muscles, all those muscles that wrap around your spine, to stabilize your upper body as you're curling the weights and moving side to side. So we don't wanna be wiggling from left to right. We want the center strong. Imagine you're balancing a book on your head. Keep it strong, good, four more. 
Nice, we starting to feel those muscles working yet? Three. Good, I hope so. Two more. Up and down. Give me one more here. Nice. Hold and walk. All right, so we did the front of the arms. Now we're going to kick more into the back of the arms. I'm just going to turn on a little diagonal. We're going to do an alternating toe tap to the back. Just go ahead and bend your elbows in by your sides. Let's get your legs moving first. Legs, tap, back, back. Yeah, so we're keeping you walking. Out for two, in for two. Same idea that you have to stabilize through the upper body to control those weights back. So look how still I'm trying to keep my upper half as those legs continue to move at that faster tempo. Control the weights. Back for two. In for two. Keep your chest up tall. Back. And in. Good. Is it too hard with the tap? Just walk in place. That works too, okay? Focus on the triceps. Back. In. Make it work. Three. Good. Two more. In. Last time. And in, good, okay. Walk strong. Bring the weights up in front of your shoulders. Abs are in tight, just press them together. Let's work a little more core, but again, keeping the weights where you can handle it, right at your center. Alternating high knee lift, march right here. It's up, up. Keep your abs in tight. Nice. Now, continue with the legs if you can. You can always go back to a walk if that works better. Keep the weights pressed. Take them overhead for two, and down for two. Inhale, exhale, good. Up, and down. Now, little corner shot for you. Notice that the weights are not going straight up over my head. They're slightly in front of me. So I can kind of see them out of my peripheral vision as they press up. Up for two. Down for two, that's it. Ooh, they're starting to get heavy. Up and down, two more sets. Up and down, last press. Up for two, down for two, you did it. Walk it strong. How you feeling, you good? Okay, shoulders back. Let's work that chest just a little bit. So we're gonna move on to an alternating step. Just bring the weights up to your hips. Starting with just those legs again. Beautiful, we're gonna alternate. Stepping forward like this. Step, come in, step, come in. Bending the knees, get grounded into your legs. Opposite arm, this takes a little thought. Opposite arm presses out in front of you. Turn your palm to the floor. Right in front of the chest right in front of that shoulder. That's the muscles we're working, right? Chest and shoulder, right here. Make it a powerful step, control it. Again, think about those core muscles. Keeping your body nice and steady, nice and strong. Yes, good. Nice. That's it. Stay with me here, we got eight more. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Side to side step tap. <laughs> You're doing so great. Okay, so we're gonna hit the upper back next. For this one, I do want you to steady your feet. So I want you to keep your back safe. I'm just gonna give it to you on a little three quarter angle so you can watch my form. We're gonna take those feet wider than hip width and sit back into the hips so that we can hinge forward with a nice neutral spine. Are you ready? Plant your feet, hinge forward, upper back rows like this. It's up, down, up, down. You can hang out here or give me a little bit of a leg movement. A little deeper squat, it's optional, but it can help keep that heart rate up a little higher if you want it. Feel free to just focus on that upper back row that's better for you. Now where are your elbows going? 
not straight up to the ceiling, but on a diagonal back. Aim them back to where the wall meets the ceiling behind us. Yes. Good, I want those weights to be starting to feel heavy. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. Nice. Last four. Three. Two, give me one more. Beautiful, walk it tall, okay. Come on back. You're doing great. Combo move is next. We have a bicep curl and a rotating press. Turn your palms out. We're just gonna walk this one. Abs in tight. We curl up for two. You rotate, press away for two. Come back in. Lower down. Let's do it slowly again. Control, rotate and press. So that little twist, turning the palms away from you as you extend the arms. Good. Stay tall. Abs tight. One more at this tempo. In. Push. Come in. Little bit faster. Up. Press. In and down. Up. Press. In and down. You don't have to stay with my beat. You can go at your own pace. Good. Don't worry about the music. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm more concerned with the control of the weight and your form. Nice. In, press. Two more like that. In. Good. One last time. Nice, guys. Great job. Okay. Moving on. Got another one for the chest. Arms up. Goal post position. Come in for two. Out for two. Hug those elbows in. Open them out. Stand tall. In. Woo, those weights are starting to feel heavy to me. Good. Relax your neck. Good. Make sure you're not leaning back. Don't give me a chicken head here. Out and in. Shoulders, upper back, chest, everything is firing. Stay with it. Almost there. In. Out. In. We're going to try for four more. Get rid of the weights if you need to before we're done. Three. Out. Two more. Good. Last one. Woo. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and set one dumbbell down carefully. Keep those legs moving for me. Nice. Abs, a little more tricep for you. I want you to take the dumbbell in your left hand. We're gonna turn on a little diagonal. We're gonna tap forward and back with our right foot just like this. Tap forward, tap back. Yeah? Abs are in tight. I want you to just hold on to that dumbbell. So core muscles are working to stabilize as you're just carrying that single weight for me. Good. Just a few more like this. It's four, three, last two, and one. Good, now hold that split stance, hinge forward, elbow up. Let's kick it back right here, kick. Squeeze, good. Now, if you wanted a little more movement, you can tap the toe and shift your weight. It's totally optional though. Squeeze, good. Squeeze. Send your knuckles to that back wall. Last four. Three. Two, good. Hold on to that dumbbell at both ends. Abs are in tight. We got a knee up and back. Good. Draw the abs in nice and tight. Four more. Squeeze. Three. Two. Now you can hang right here if twisting doesn't work for you. Or take it across to your hip. Little balance challenge. If you need some help, you're going to tap the foot on the floor, okay? Mind your back. If you have some back issues, 
Rotating with the weight may not be a good idea for you, so I want you to stay straight on if that's better. You know what you need, so make sure you get it. Four more. Three, two, and one. Give me a side-to-side -side step. We're gonna pass that dumbbell from one hand to the other while we transition. Looks like this. Up and down. Good. Slow down just a little bit. Again, don't worry about the beat of the music. A little pass press for the abs and the shoulders. Think of going wider though, because we're going a little slower. So make it as wide as you can. Good. Nice. Don't drop that weight. Like a hot potato press, make sure you catch it. Shoulders are square. A couple more. Then we gotta go get that other side. Last set, walk and hold it. Dumbbells in the other hand, facing on the other diagonal. Back foot is gonna tap forward and back right here. Forward and back. So remember, just hold that weight, don't swing it. Use your abs right here. Keep the core steady and strong. Good, we're almost done. We gotta finish this set, then you're finished. All right, so we're gonna split stance and hold. Remember your options. Elbow bends up, kick it back and stay here, or tap the toe, out, or a little shift. Doesn't have to be real big, just a light toe touch and land. Again, first and foremost, we are focused on the triceps. That was a lot of Fs. First, foremost, focused. Say that three times fast. Good. That's it. Squeeze. Make those muscles work. Make them stronger. Press back. Press back. Very nice. Final four, then we'll hit those abs. It's four. Three. Two, last one please. Hold it. Grab the dumbbell at both ends. Just your kneeless first abs in tight. So you gotta think about this one. Draw the belly in tight to your spine to lift that knee up. Two more, remember you can stay with this or add that chop to your hip right here. So again, mind your back. Do what you need to do to stay strong, to stay safe and successful. That's it, we're gonna do four more right here. It's four, three, two, and one. Let's take it to that side to side. Get wide, little pass press. Slow down if you need to, get wider. Pass and press. Good. Remember, you can ditch the weight if you want and just use your arms too. But this is our last exercise. Circuit is over, mile is done. I'm just gonna do a little cool down, send you on your way. Sound good? Awesome. Good. Four more. Three, two, one. Let's carefully set this weight to the floor. Come on up, walk it out. Woo. All right, how you feel? I hope you feel stronger than when we started. Maybe a little sparklier. So congratulations. We've done our mile. We've done some upper body strength training. All in one, two for one special. So let's bring it down. Deep breaths. Inhale, stretch those arms up. Deep breath. Exhale, let it go. One more time, fill up those lungs, breathe. Big exhale out. Good, side to side, step tap, easy peasy. Let's open the chest. Clasping the hands together behind your back, roll the shoulders open. Take a nice inhale, lift the heart. Good. Take your hands together in front of you, clasping the hands, turn your palms away from you. Take a deep breath in, press the arms away, exhale. Stretch across that upper back. Now we're just gonna plant the feet. Give me a stretch to the side, out and over. Come back to the center, other side. Big stretch. Nice. 
nice just for those calves turn the heels press the back heel down press your hips forward open up that hip flexor good let's take it around to the other side just make sure you're picking up your feet if you're on carpet so you don't torque your knees press the heel down lift that chest step your feet hip width hands on the thighs inhale round your chest in tuck your chin to your tailbone big arch exhale look to the sky one more time inhale round exhale big arch roll all the way up to standing give yourself a big hand for a job well done thank you guys so much for joining me for this upper body one mile circuit if you liked this routine please be sure to check out our dvd line you might really enjoy our walk on six mile mix which incorporates circuits of toning the body upper lower and total body using a resistance band you can create your own customized plan we've got a separate warm-up cool down stretch all good stuff i'll put the links below in the video description i'd love to keep walking with you so i'll help you check that out as well thanks you guys i look forward to seeing you for another walk real soon. Take care, everybody.